Only one light. <laughs> it looks like we're tacking up in the dark today. <laughs> It's Jill and today I am filming another barn vlog and this is so soon since the last time you filmed a barn vlog you might say and yes you're probably right however I'm doing a gallop set this morning it is currently just now six o'clock my first class is at 9 25 this morning because I am in college now yeah I can't can't really ride in the middle of the day because it's too hot I have to ride at the butt crack of dawn. And it kind of sucks, but also it's kind of nice because I like mornings. But, you know, I didn't get much sleep last night because I had a freaking nightmare like a toddler at 3 a.m. <clears throat> and I couldn't go back to sleep. So I have had far too much awake time. But yeah, I'm just going to hop on Zoe and then tell you guys what I'm doing. So let's get to it. It's kind of hard to see in here. So I have my jump saddle on, my Cavalry gel half pad, a Millbrook leather saddle pad, um, her Magic E Keep dressage sport boots, dressage slash sport boots, and then some professional's choice bell boots on. She says, hey. Hey, girl. I've been tacking up by the light of the stall. I guess I can turn them off now because I'm about to head out. All right, baby cakes, let's rock and roll. Are you going to open the gate or are you going to move so I can? Thank you. She says, he's too early. Where's my breakfast? Good gravy. Look, <laughs> it looks awesome out here right now. So pretty. Uh, of course we're jigging. Fast cars make sounds. Relax. Okay, so I'm gonna set 10 minutes on my watch and we're gonna walk around um, if Zoe will let me and then uh, we'll start trotting for 10, canter for 3, trot for 10 and then walk out because I don't have enough time to do another set. You can sort of do conditioning sets in a lot of different ways but the way that makes most sense to me and I think sounds <laughs> most logical to do kind of an ascension descension <laughs> kind of system where you walk trot canter trot walk it brings the horse's heart rate up and slows it down and and that's what builds stamina. Now there are lots of different ways to do it, but this is just the way that I've been doing it. And um, so, like I said, a 10 walk, 10 trot, three canter, 10 trot, 10 walk, and then we call it a day. And since it is rather warm, I don't need a super long warm up or a super long walk, but I'm gonna give her one anyway, just to settle her a bit. She is acting like a baby thoroughbred. It's okay. And we're also afraid of the cows that live across the fence. <laughs> That's fine. So we're currently working on our last trot set. Canter was very interesting. She says, let's go intermediate pace instead of novice. Quite the arm workout for me. Didn't listen to my body at all. So we're finishing up the last 10 minute trot here. Because I think she finally maybe got tired because this is the first time I've actually been able to let go of her a little bit. I'm on a completely loose rein now. She says, can we just walk on? Take it easy. Oh, we got four and a half minutes left. All right, what is the deal? Why are we running? Oh, I think it's because the barn is that way. No, still have a bit of time left. Just settle and do it. All right, good girl. I'm gonna turn early here. Good girl. Good girl. So, this conditioning work is really to, obviously to build stamina, but also in the canter is to work on her pace and both of us recognizing our pace. And uh, it's a little hard to do when you're on a baby thoroughbred that just kind of wants to gallop around her home. But when we go to shows, she settles into a rhythm pretty easily. Why are you zigzagging so much? I like have a zigzaggy bean. She says, don't know which direction I'm going, I'm just going. But I think it's pretty cool that I can finally trot her in the field on a loose rein because before those supplements from my hair analysis video, absolutely was out of the question because she couldn't really breathe through her body. So definitely check that video out if you have a spicy little horse um, 
yeah so i'm gonna go and finish up this set check in with you guys after Oh. Oh. Yeah. Good girl. We're not done yet. So close. Good legs. So we are just into our 10 minute walk. And uh, Zoe seems to be doing pretty well. Her breathing is not, not too quick. And she's cooling down. Also, I just bit a hole in this glove because I was trying to take it off and couldn't get it off with my other hand. So I used my teeth and bit a hole in it. Awesome. Good job. But somebody is a little tired. Let's go. Oh, whoa. Yeah, see, like, she's, she's barely blowing, which, and that was a lot of work. Oh, I'm very sweaty. <laughs> um, so is she. It's, it's probably like 75, but the humidity is... Ugh. Um, it actually feels nicer than any day I've really ridden. So we did 10 minute walk, 10 minute trot, 3 minute canter, 10 minute trot, and now we are in our last walk. And Zazu says, ugh, hey. I don't know why. Every time she like trips or takes a misstep or loses her hind end or anything, she just like surges forward and she bucked a few times doing that. I'm like, well, if you would not go so fast and regulate yourself and use your body properly, then you wouldn't trip. <laughs> oh crap, we have a large bug. No! I hate this. Ah, it's on your neck. Ah! <laughs> oh, this. Yeah, that's right, bug die. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Oh my god, are you kidding? I fly sprayed you. They don't care. And the thing is, when the big ones land on her, she like bucks her hind end. So, oh, I'm trying to swat it. I'm like getting tossed around. It's a lovely morning. I'm very happy with my bean. Like, yeah, she still is very strong. And um, I don't have her in a strong bit at all. So, I had to pull a little more than I would like. Um, which. That's the bit argument there. Like, do you put on a stronger bit so you don't have to pull as much or a soft one and then pull more? So we're still trying to find that fine balance. I've been through like 800 different bits with her, but um, I'm gonna see if I can find one that works. Just want to toss in a quick disclaimer here that I didn't mean works as in like, will stop her dead in her tracks because it's such a harsh bit. I meant like something that she goes comfortably in and relaxed in, but I still have enough level of control that when we're out on cross country and we both have adrenaline going, that we can still have a bit of a communication there. And I just want her to be as comfortable as possible. Yes, I have found bits that she goes well in, but I still feel that she could go better. So I'm just constantly trying to find that fine balance of um, something that she goes both happily in and comfortably and I still have control so I hope that cleared up that up a little bit I totally misspoke I know I have a thin uh, a really thin diameter uh, single joint de snaffle that I run across country in and that usually works but for stuff like this single joint really thick um, rubber D not enough <laughs> so um, my uh, up here's whatever you call that is very sore it's fine <laughs> it's fine we have five minutes left of walking and I'm trying to make it some energetic using our hind end and self walk and then we can relax I'm tired I got up early and then I have to go to school <sighs> no drink just face in Ew, everything is gross. I know. Come on! We've got grass everywhere. Hey. Her breathing came down really nicely. Still blowing a little bit, but it's probably just it's hot. Into the barn. Oh, my knees hurt. Ow, God, I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> Alrighty guys, well I just got home. I had to clean Zoe's stall, feed her, put hay in her stall, and fill up her water trough all before I left and I had like 30 minutes to do it as I put all my stuff away and everything and so I got a little busy. Um, I have a kitten. I have a kitten. Now I am home 
and I have to get ready for class. My shower is running. Um, but yeah, that's that's about it. So yeah, there are all different variations of gallop sets, trot sets, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I hope this I hope this video was helpful. Uh, and yeah, so talk to you guys later. Okay, goodbye. Here today,